Hello and welcome to Build. I am Sam Thompson and we are live in London. Now today on this very sofa, we are joined by two stars of BBC's drama, Death in Paradise. They have left the tropical climates of Guadeloupe to be here with us. Please put your hands together for Shaiko Amos and Toby Bakare. <laughs> Now, before we get started, as you all know, if you're watching this live and you have any questions for the guys, please feel free to tweet us at Build Series LDN, or if you're watching this on Facebook Live, just leave a comment below. Hello! Hey! Oh. How are we today? I'm yeah. good, yeah, I'm great today, how are you? I'm great, good, <laughs> under the weather, but great, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm under the weather, I've got a block nose, I've got a block nose, I'm gonna yeah. be honest, yeah. What's going on? I've had a lemsip and nothing's changed, <laughs> like, just, do you know what I mean? I thought that was meant to deal with everything. Thing. No, no lemsips uh, to deal with things. But it, it's freezing here as well, which is a far cry from Guadeloupe. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Guadeloupe is uh, really hot, really lovely, and it is the, par the paradise, definitely. <laughs> What's it like to film in the Caribbean? Well, I mean, after doing it for, for about five years now, um, <laughs> you kind of missed the like, rat race of London. But, you know, what? ultimately, it's, it's great. It's hot. There's lots of things to do there. Um, the, 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 the sea, the beach... You know, running around on the beach in yeah. my bikini. It's really hot, basically. <laughs> it's <laughs> really, really, really hot, which is great when you, you know, when you're going out there, you're like, yes, I'm leaving England, no more grey. But once you've kicked into like six months of filming, that heat really does start to start to get to you. You're like, oh, heat stroke, mm. I'm dying. Mm. So, yeah. See, I, I heard that it was actually really uh, quite hard to film sometimes because you're on the beaches and bear in mind, this sun is hot. Yeah. You've got yeah. makeup on, your yeah. outfits. And the, and the lights. And the lighting. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and the lights and the mosquitoes. And oh. we never really film inside, do we? We're always sort of on set somewhere outside like we do not have fancy uh you know trailers and stuff we've got <laughs> we've literally got a tent and that's where we sit yeah um, so we're hardcore we're hardcore actors yeah. man at, at one with the elements and you know when we're shooting in the police station the police station gets really claustrophobic that's where yeah. the heat really it really hits us everyone yeah. starts losing their lines <laughs> You know, we're like trying to do Death in Paradise, but really we're quoting Shakespeare <laughs> accidentally, <laughs> you know, so, <laughs> yeah. And uh, Shaika, you're new to the show. How yes. are you dealing with it all? Wow, well, it's been a whirlwind. It really has. And I, I mean, at first when I found out that I was going to be doing the show, I was uh, it was daunting. It really was because I've taken over Danny, um, who has been absolutely amazing obviously he's been on the show since the beginning so I was you know when I found out I was like uh how how am I gonna do this how 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 is this gonna the work pressure must have been enormous it, it was and it was more pressure that I was sort of putting on myself more because everybody um on the cast and the crew and everyone at the BBC has been so supportive and just really helpful to just get this character that can bring something you know, nowhere near the same as what Danny d did because he is, he's his own special thing and we just couldn't recreate that. So we just really worked hard to get something that was just completely different for the new audiences, yeah. I mean, I think personally she's done a, a great job. She comes in Aww. with a bang, Aww. you know what I mean? <laughs> you know? Um, her character is like really, really big and really just, um, she sort of like grabs grabs a police station and changes <laughs> yeah <laughs> she just changes changes the whole atmosphere of the of, of the police station she does a great job thank you and and how how does your character sort of feel trying to trying to tame the wild child i suppose <laughs> <laughs> well uh you know what her character is so big and um is so unorthodox <laughs> you know doesn't really know whether she's in a hair salon or whether she's working in the police station, you know? So you kind of you kind of have to like gauge and, and sort of like pull back. I mean, I'm a father, so I have children. <laughs> she, she hates this. I'm a father and I have children, so it's like having to sort of like go, okay, no, do it like this, or do it like this, and you're constantly chasing. So um, the relationship is, is strong um, in that sense, you know? Um, like JP accidentally becomes sort of like a father figure. Mm. You know, just accidentally, or bigger brother, as you like to say. 
Yeah, I like to say bigger brother. Okay, bigger brother. But it's all right. He wants to be, he can be a father. I'm your daddy. And, <laughs> <laughs> and talking about J.P. Hooper, actually, quickly, where do we find him in this series? Oh, good. Um, he's He has matured an awful lot. You know, um, he's kind of taken more um, initiative on cases, taking more responsibility in cases. Um, we've got uh, some great episodes where he actually is sort of working hand in hand with with Jack at certain times, you know? Um, some great moments, and then of course the relationship with, with, with Shaiko's character, Ruby. Um, you just see more, more color in JP, and, and especially a, a maturity. Previous seasons under the influence of of Dwayne, you know, <laughs> <laughs> the great influence of Dwayne. You know, JP kind of couldn't really establish himself as that police officer that is um, grounded and does everything by the book, but now he can kind of run with it. Yeah. The new obstacle is this one over here. <laughs> and what, talking about obstacles, I hear that uh, uh, Don Warrington taught you how to swim. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So he's like the father character on the show yeah. and off, off the, the show. show. You know what? That was a. It was interesting. It was the first season I, I got to. Um, I'd done the show, and um, I was attempting to swim in the sea, and I just had everyone looking at me. We were in a hotel, oh, so everyone God, the was pressure. Just, yeah, the pressure. Everyone was just <laughs> staring at me. Thank God, no one knew that I was actually doing Death in Paradise because, like, I had not been in previous seasons before that. So. Don was like, what is that you're doing over there? You know, and he did this sort of regal accent. Um, and uh, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm swimming. Problem is, I'm trying to go that way. And I ended up, I'm going backwards instead of forwards, you know? So um, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. And then the, the guest cast start to, to, to look at me and they're like, what are you doing? I said, Everybody's trying to teach me how to swim in a sea. It looks like a, a you know, those like in, um, water Zumba classes. It looked like that and I was in the center. You know, <laughs> being taught by everybody. Uh, what are you doing over there? Can't you see? I'm I'm swimming <laughs> yeah. while you're sinking. <laughs> <laughs> we're actually, but we we we're, we're underway for series eight. But we are very lucky to have a clip of you guys in action. I've watched it; it's hilarious. Oh, <laughs> that is a round of applause worthy for sure. <laughs> now that is actually a sneak peek of tonight's. No, not tonight. This no. week's episode. No, that was last week's. Last actually, week's yeah, that was last week's. That, that was my, uh, Ruby's debut. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, that was my debut. Episode. Were you glued to the screen? Did you have family members round the TV <laughs> or watching it? I did. I, I kept it quiet. I had uh, my mum who's in the back there. Hey. Oh, mom. the anonymous <laughs> mum that we said we wouldn't mention, but we're mentioning it now. <laughs> yeah. So my mum was there and a couple of my aunties and we did we, we really watched and I was really nervous so I was just like watching like it was a horror film like uh, but I was really happy with it yeah and the comedy in that is is brilliant I really liked it and actually I really like that theme in the whole show where obviously you know it's about sort of murders and, and solving the crimes but also there's a really uplifting vibe to it but you guys work very well together was <laughs> was that was the comedy in that easier for you guys because you get along yeah yeah I mean we Really do get, I think from the um, screen tests that we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that definitely, so in the audition process, one of the last audi aud auditions that I did was to go in, meet Toby, and we actually worked a couple of scenes together. And um, that was definitely the first time when I thought, oh, I, I might be in with a chance because I really felt that we got on and we were cracking up. I mean, literally, yeah. we were we were cracking up in the auditions. So. Yeah, I mean, we, we kind of, we, I mean, to act is to play in it. So we, we, yeah. we play and, and even in real life, you know, like she plays all the time, <laughs> you know, she just can't stop playing. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, like we're always like just joking around, messing mm -hmm. around, you know, she'll come around and eat some of my lamb chops in my house. Yeah. Uninvited. He cooked for me on um, my first <laughs> on my first um, night in Guadeloupe, I was starving. I was so hungry and I didn't know where to go, didn't know anything. And Toby came over and he took me to his um, where he lives and he cooked me dinner. So That's really so lovely. lovely. Yeah, he's really sweet. Oh, <laughs> can I just actually ask, this is just a personal question. Yeah. What is it like to sort of, you know, your last audition, you've got to do it as an established star. That yeah. must have been so nerve wracking. It really was nerve wracking. And I remember, I don't know if you remember, but I remember I was just like going to the toilet and maybe you you had come to the toilet. And I was like, oh, um, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to be acting with you in a minute. I was just like a bumbling <laughs> fool. And he looked at me like, who's this girl? Yeah, yeah <laughs> you are, you know. So um, I, I had known about Toby and his work and all the work that he had done before. And I so respect everything that he does and everything that he's done. So mm -hmm. it was, it's just really really amazing to be with him.
Yeah. There's a, there's a murder in the first five minutes of the show. <laughs> It, for such a small island, why is it always kicking off? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. I know it's like uh, it's, you better not. It's not. It's not that paradise, is it? Yeah, with, with it's, all these... it's, it's the tourists that come in. They just think <laughs> the Caribbean is a great place to kill people. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, we're talking about tourists. I, I always thought that you must see like a spike in like holiday bookings. You get eight to nine million viewers on yeah. average, which is huge. Yeah. yeah, we got more than Luther. Can I say? No, you so did thank not. you, thank you guys for watching. We did wow. our first episode. We got I think six point five million viewers, which was more than Luther did. So That's a round of we really, right there, really sure. loved the viewers. Thank you so much for watching. And, and, and when you read the script, Toby, do you ever try and guess who the murderer is? It's like Cluedo, isn't it, really? <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what? I, I'm really rubbish at it, so I don't tempt myself. You know, I, that, like, I just kind of just read it and go through the paces. Um, but sometimes I do get it. Sometimes I do get it. Like, on the really odd occasion, I get it. But most times I don't, because the writers are great. They just kind of just take you on this journey, mm -hmm. you know? And Ardle, Ardle's good. Yeah, yeah he, he gets it a lot. And, and do the writers base this on real life crimes as well? Um, I don't think we, we, no, no. I mean, the audience, you, you ask for, well, I mean, like, really? I mean, <laughs> no. I mean, some of, the, some of the murders we've had, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call them real life crimes. Some of them I can't imagine people actually dying like that, <laughs> you know, and then you realize that it's just someone's like left a, a piece of fluff on the side and all of a sudden that's the big thing that, <laughs> that, that the big clue I mean I don't, I don't but know but is that why the writers are so good because yeah. they come up with these ingenious ways of, of sort of, yeah. of hooking us all in absolutely mm. like I think the thing with the show what, what's different about Death in Paradise to maybe other murder mysteries is that you know we're able to really have that line between being serious and and having that fun element. And I think it's one of the few shows left that's a family show, you know, everyone can watch it. Very uplifting. Yeah, really uplifting. And we don't um, we don't take ourselves too seriously. And I think there's so much on TV which is gritty and hard hitting. And we just sort of cover the other end of that, you know, as well as obviously having that drama as well. So best of both worlds. Mm. Mm. I completely agree with that actually as well. I think okay. that, that it's so, and I think that's why you get such high viewers because it, it's escapism, isn't yeah, it? Really, and it's such totally a beautiful is. location mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, every time I went, when when I, I think one of the things I noticed is when when I'm sitting, you know, standing there, it's like, Psycho, can you just move to the left a bit because we need to get that palm tree in there, you know, or we need to get that nice skyline. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm in the way of the of the lovely view. <laughs> <laughs> it, it sounds like so much fun. Okay, but if you had, if you had to pick. One person, who's the biggest joker on set? Oh. You! <laughs> well, I totally. didn't see that coming. He's yeah. the biggest joker on set, totally. What's he done? He's, you know what? It's just he's got a sense of humour where he's really deadpan. So he, I, I can't think off the top of my head, but literally when any guest cast come, he'll say something that, he'll say it's so deadpan that they'll believe it's true. And then we'll have to be like, he, he's he's joke. It's not real. No, d d don't don't listen to him. But he does it all the time. Uh, you no. do. Okay. You do. You're <laughs> the biggest joker. He is the biggest joker. <laughs> and, and and Toby, you you've been a Kingsman before. You know that's sort of a crime fighter itself. Is this something that appeals to you? This genre. Um. What uh, Death in Paradise? Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Um. For me, the, the reason why I'm here and still doing the show is because of the model. It's, it's very nostalgic for me, you know? So uh, I remember growing up and seeing my dad watch um, shows like, um, what's, he, what's my, my friend's name? Um, oh gosh, Inspector. Help Morse? me. Morse. Inspector Morse. Inspector, Inspector Morse. Lovely. To watch um, 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 shows where, where, where this model is, 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 is done and, and he used to, it used to, I used to hate it at the time, but doing this show kind of takes me back to, to that. Um, so yes, I've done quite, quite a few sort of uh, detective shows and, and stuff like that. And I, I, do, I do thoroughly enjoy, you know, just trying to work it out and being a, the police officer trying to do that. 
you know. And, and you went to the identity drama school, yeah. didn't you? And that's got some. Ooh, yeah, oh, look at him! It's the identity pants. drama school. <laughs> and the, but it's got some amazing alumni though, doesn't yeah. it? John yeah. Boyega. Yeah. Which is is I mean, he's doing some amazing things. When you walk through those doors, we're like, yeah, I'm on something big here. Mm. Um, y you know, identity drama school has, has been running for for such a long time, and uh, I was actually there when when the, the drama school started. So I, I'm kind of part Toby was of, part his first client. He's, he's being very <laughs> humble. What? But no. this was one of the first first people in identity. That is the oh truth. Oh my lord! So just tell the truth. Well, there was <laughs> I was one of. She's calling you out. That's <laughs> what I said, mate. I was one of many, but oh, but but what I what I find is that what they have done as a as a drama school is they've just kind of. Um, taken off sort of the mask of how we look and how we are perceived in society and just focused on the talent. And that's the reason why the actors are able to thrive just like that. So, And, and Shaika, you've been to some amazing productions as well. Mamma Mia? Yeah, I was in Mamma Mia. I mean, Sorry, it, carry on. No, it was, I was going to say, this is my first TV job, you know, my first sort of thing on screen. I did a very English scandal, but that was two lines, so I feel like it doesn't count as much. <laughs> But um, yeah, I everything counts. Everything, yes. everything Put it on the CV. <laughs> it's on IMDb. <laughs> exactly. No, yeah. I mean, I I've been very. I mean, I've been acting for a very long time, and you know, my story is, I guess, a little bit different to Toby's in in the fact that I'm one of these actors that have been doing it for a long time. I've been doing lots of different theatre, you know. Um, and then you, you don't know when that moment's gonna come and you feel like it may never happen. And Death in Paradise was, was my moment. It was my, my big break. Um, you know, I, I was at university actually before I got Death in Paradise doing psychotherapy and counseling and really thinking about sort of changing the direction of my life and going into something new. Um, so I- Where you are now, that's crazy. I, I can't believe it, I know, like literally this time two years ago, um, and then to get that call to say that I'd, I'd, I'd got it was just so amazing to me, yeah. Well, you know, you, you played a part there, man, 100%. <laughs> Is it great to learn or someone like Toby? Yeah, absolutely. I mean <laughs> You know what, shaiko has been in, working in the acting industry longer than me, so really we're both learning, we're learning from each other. And, um, and you know, the, the nature of, of, of working so closely with people is that you're, it, everyone's infectious. You know, even if you don't want to be infected, you, everyone is just infectious, so you're taken from, from everybody. And sometimes her big character choices makes me go big. You know, um, and yeah. it, it just works like that. It's a bit like a domino effect. You know, well, long may that continue. <laughs> now, yeah. no, I have to ask this question, and I'm sure I know the answer. We're in series eight now. Mm -hmm. Are we looking at series nine? We don't know yet, do we? Wouldn't Let's see. We're already getting well, people going. What? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're not sure. I mean, we always we always have to wait every year to see if we get a new commission. Um, but you know, we had we've been having great viewing figures and stuff, which is really what counts at the end of the day. So hopefully um, there will be a series nine, but we, we, we don't know yet. Well, with figures like that, <laughs> I can tell you there most probably will be a series nine. So don't worry, we're okay. <laughs> Guys, look, I'm so sorry, that is all we have time for. Cool. Thank you so much for being so amazing. Thank you very much for Thank inviting you. us. Death in Paradise is on at 9 p.m. on BBC One on Thursdays. I will be tuning in, I suggest you guys do too. <laughs> Please stick around, because tomorrow we are interviewing Fleur East to talk oh, about her new nice. album. And we also have the cast of If Bill Street Could Talk, so tune in. But once again, please put your hands together for Shaiko and Toby. <laughs>